Okay, everybody, what is up? It is XPod here with another video. It's coding Minecraft Forge 1.6.4 for Minecraft, surprisingly enough. Uh, sorry if you can hear my computer fan there. I put my mic a bit too close to the computer today. Um, so, yeah. So, today, what we're going to be covering is something that I just discovered how to do with the help from a PMC site mod called Zerani. Um, and yeah, basically we were, I was like, I really need help with this because it wouldn't work. Simply when I placed my model down, right now it's not textured because I haven't got the textures in this mod. Um, I will provide this model for download, um, but you should probably already have your own. I'm just going to assume in this episode that you already have your model and you just don't know how to rotate it like this. As you can see, whatever place I whatever side I place it on, it's rotated in that direction. So yeah. Now let's get into the code. Okay, now here in the code, the first thing you'll want to do is go into your block class, and mine I've called custom rendered block just for the purpose of this tutorial. So um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to just anywhere you like, really, as long as it's within the class, you will need to type at override to override an already given statement public void on block placed uh, placed by and yeah um, we can actually I think we can just fill that out okay I guess not um, so we'll just type it out. Um, so world worlds, I believe, um, int x, int y, and int z are needed. Then there's entity living base, and we'll just call that entity for now. And items that oh items stack. We'll call that stack. And we will, of course, open those. Okay. So now, this is um, actually quite going to be quite a short tutorial. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Um, so right now, uh, really, nothing happens. Um, if I save this and I launch it, uh, the block should be facing, like, really awkward. No, not really awkward. Just it'll only face one direction when I place it. So if I drag that there to show you guys. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I don't even need to place any more down. They are uh, all facing the same direction, which isn't really too good. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. So I can quit Minecraft. Um, and what we're gonna do is if entity is equal to null, and then we'll just open brackets there and we'll just type return there and down here we will do tile entity this is where you're referring to your tile entity which is here so tile entity custom for me uh, whatever you called your tile entity uh, tile equals uh, tile entity oh and Titty custom um, world dot get block tile entity like that, and we'll do x, y, and z. And we need to close off this line here. Sorry about that motorbike. My microphone kind of picks up everything, so you could probably hear that loud and clearly. Um, the room that I'm in right now is pretty close to a road, so I I'm really sorry about that. So then tile dot uh, direction equals don't worry about tile dot direction we will do that later math helper uh, I spelled that right dot oh, whoops uh, dot floor double yes floor double uh, so there we will need to do double double with the closed parentheses there I believe I typed that correctly. And then entity dot rotation your uh, star, like for multiplication, 
4.0 F and divided by 360 because once around is 360 and divided by 4 because you have 490 degree angles that go into 360 that's about the best I can explain it for you if you don't understand it learn math and then come back to this video and yeah so yeah I can't I don't really know how to explain it it's basically there are 490 degree angles and I just continued coding with the at uh, with the and three um, so yeah so right now you'll realize there's error over direction here and if we save this you'll have an error here so this is accessing our tile entity custom which is tile here so we need to go in here we need to type in one line which would be if I can find it oh oops sorry I was just checking my notes there because I do have a few notes so public int direction that was difficult wasn't it now if we hit save it has cleared up Ta -da! so I don't need that note um, the oh yes now we need to go into the custom renderer which was accessed uh, where was it where did I oh whoops uh, where did I access a custom renderer oh I remember that was in the client proxy. I'm thinking of a different time now. So we need to go into our custom renderer right here. And under the render tile entity at, which is basically how it renders, we, uh, I'm just going to leave this here for now, actually. I don't actually have that um, texture. I could just drop it in real quick, but I don't want to. Um, so yeah. So what we are going to do, what 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 we are going to do? So tile entity grinder, entity grinder, no custom. I mean, because sorry, I'm, the notes is from uh, my taco mod, which will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Um, my tile equals tile toil entity custom toil entity custom it is and we go out here and we do tile and titty Ta -da! and we do int direction referring to um, this here int direction uh, so int direction is equal to my tile dot direction because we are referring to my tile which is being here so we could just do tile like we did um, yeah we just called it tile here so we can just do tile here too if you want um, keep things the same it doesn't make a difference you call this ASDF for all I care uh, and it would still work so it doesn't make a difference really. And what you'll do is you'll do G11. You should have already done this rotation stuff already. And um, this is basically where uh, we access the uh, four 90 degree angles which are created here when you times it by four and divide it by 360. The multiplication by four is because there are only four. We could do it by eight, but then, yeah, that'd be really awkward. Um, and then, the, whoa, the rotation would look insane. Um, but yeah, we could also multiply it by two and then it'd only be one way or the other. Uh, but it doesn't really make a difference. Um, well, it does, because by four, Minecraft has cubes and cubes have four sides. So yeah, whatever. Um, so we'll go back here and G11, GL, rotate, uh, rotate F, because we are rotating F, I believe. Um, yeah, so this is where it gets really easy, actually. So you just type direction, accessing the direction AS in the talented custom, which we called ASDF. Yeah, we called it ASDF. And we are going to multiply this by 90. So yes, we have 90. And then we'll do 0, 0.0F, because we do not want it rotating around the x-axis, and instead we want it rotating around the y-axis, and the y, 
if you remember from a bit of simple coding, if I can find, oh, it's just here. So you have x, y, and z. So y is in the middle here, z is there. So if we wanted it to rotate around the x-axis, we would have a 1.0f there. If you wanted to rotate around the z-axis, we would have the 1.0f at the end. But we want it rotating around the y, so we're going to do 1.0f in the middle, and then 0.0f as x. Um, and then we just have to close this off. Um, so that's basically it for the tutorial, except you'll want to scrub some stuff up. So with this particular, uh, what you call it? Uh, with this particular model, that's it. Uh, model, um, basically, it doesn't really... It needs a bit of rotation to measure those. So there, there, there. And then it's all 90 degrees off, right? Like they're all facing to the right. Right, right. So basically, how you can imagine this is that there, so if I get to go there, that's 360. So at the moment, this is facing at 360 degrees, as you can see on the Z, no, 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 on the F, as it says there. So yeah, it says divided by a number. And if I look here, this should be close to negative 180. And if I look here, this is close to 90. And here, oh, negative 90, sorry. And this here is close to 90. So basically, that's at 360 at the moment. And to get 360 to 90, all we have to do is add. Oh, whoops. You couldn't see anything that I was doing this there. Um, so yeah, basically if, <laughs> that was a bit of a fail. So that direction is negative 90, as you can see in the F, I'll probably highlight it or just something when I'm editing. That there is, oh, zero actually. Oh, I got it wrong then. And that there is 90, and that is close to 180, and that's negative 90, yeah. So this here is facing uh, like zero at the moment. Um, and it's not supposed to be facing zero because I want it to face towards me when I place it, right? So there are two ways you can do this if you know basic math. Um, so let's just exit out of that since we don't actually need it anymore. Well, we do to try it out later. So there are two things I could do. I could do plus 90, which would work. It would work very well. Or I believe I could do... Minus 270, because minus 270 also equals zero. No, it equals, ah, my brain is totally messed up right now. Um, it equals negative three, no, negative two. Wow, yeah, basically it's the same angle. Um, I haven't actually tried this before, so let's check it out, see if it still works. Yeah, see, look, it's the same thing. So you can either do plus 90, which would be much easier, or you could do minus 270, like this. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you want me to, I can teach you how to add your custom rendered block into Techni. Uh, not into Techni. Um, you'll make it with Techni. So once you approach that tutorial, make sure you have your model. Otherwise, I will provide a simple one in the description for you to use. Oops, I keep on missing that. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, hope to see you in the next coding tutorial, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.